All right, you are reaching the end of your WordPress web journey with me, you're at least getting close to that. Um, of course, it's just the start of what I hope is, is a lifelong learning experience and getting more sophisticated and learning more about plugins and getting into advanced themes. And, and there's just a world of great things out there that you can still do. Um, integrating WordPress with shopping carts and all that kind of uh, good stuff. Uh, however, one thing I do want to cover before we part ways is the fact that with WordPress being one of the most widely used platforms out on the internet, um, you know, a shocking majority of sites are actually being run on WordPress. Um, now, the bad thing about that is if there's a vulnerability discovered, a security hole discovered inside WordPress, um, the hackers will easily scan the you know websites on the internet to find people who are running that version of WordPress that has the vulnerability and hack that site. So it's very easy to scan and find which sites are running WordPress. So um, the thing that you have to make sure you do first and foremost is always make sure that your WordPress is up to date. Um, you can see at the bottom right, you can look at the version of WordPress that you're running. Um, and this at the time of this course was version 401. And um, always make sure that that's the latest version. Now, if you go to your dashboard, um, you can see WordPress will actually tell you when you need to update. You'd see a message saying that WordPress, you know, 4.02 is available. But you can always go to dashboard updates and it'll tell you when it was last checked. And it says you have the latest version. Now it's currently set to install future updates automatically. They've started doing this recently. I, you know, if I guess it was around two years ago, they started just pushing out the updates automatically because there were a lot of sites being hacked. Um, but that was an option that you can switch on and off. So either make sure that this option is on or just make the effort to update it to the latest version. Now, the negative about updating to the latest version is sometimes things will break. Um, you might have installed a theme or a plugin like we, you know, I showed you the contact us plugin, for example, that we used. Maybe that's not compatible with the next version of WordPress. So when you do update WordPress, there's a chance that some things can break. And hopefully the author of those plugins have a new version that you can just go and, and reinstall and reactivate it. Um, but every time you update WordPress, just go through your site and kind of just make sure everything still seems to be functioning as, as you expect. Fill out the form, see if you still get the email, etc. Just try it out. Um, and it's not just vulnerabilities within WordPress. Um, so the plugins you get, remember all of these plugins come from third parties. They're from different providers, like this contact form we used. Um, you know, this is the author of that. Now, this happens to be a pretty good plugin and kept up to date. But you might find a plugin you really like and you install it and maybe it has a security vulnerability that you would never find, but some hacker is going to exploit it and end up getting access to your site um, and, and doing some form of damage to your site. So always make sure as well that your plugins um, are stay, stay updated. And if you look at your plugin list here, there's this update available. If I click that, it'll tell me which plugins have a new version available. So you might want to make sure as well that that, that stays updated. Um, this is not something you have to do every day, but if you get in the practice of doing this you know, every two weeks or at least every month, just making sure that everything on your site is still updated, um, it will save you a world of hurt. Um, and the same thing applies to the themes. Um, you know, you install a theme, again, that's, that's code coming from another third party Sometimes themes have vulnerability and vulnerabilities in it. So WordPress might be fine, but the theme has a vulnerability. So always check as well from your theme provider that there's the latest uh, you know, and greatest version of it so that you're not caught with some vulnerability that you get hacked. Now, I hate to sound alarmist or pessimistic, but you know the expression they say that um, a pessimist is just an optimist with experience and I would fall into that camp. Um, if you have a site out there, whether it's WordPress or anything else, it's probably only a matter of time before either A, you get hacked, or B, you lose it. Um, your hosting company can lose it, something can overwrite it, and you can't rely on the backups of the hosting company. So I guarantee you at some point, you're either gonna get hacked or lose it. 
um, and that might sound terrible, but let's talk about a couple of options. One, check with your hosting company. So HostGator, for example, do make backups, um, but it's, it's not a very comprehensive backup and there's still a chance you can lose what happens. Um, and let's say that someone hacks your site and HostGator does backups on Sundays. Someone hacks your site on Saturday, you don't notice it on Monday, and Sunday it gets backed up, but it gets backed up with the hack in place. So even when they restore it, the hacked site is still there because that's what they backed up. So it's not a very safe backup process. It's kind of your last emergency like type of, of backup and restore. Um, so once your site is really starting to get serious and out there, uh, you really need to start looking at some backup solutions. Um, your hosting company might offer something called R1 Soft, which you know will back up every time the site changes. Um, and there's a couple of other things you should look at. For example, um, CodeGuard.com. Um, this is, you know, as they call it, a, get a time machine for your website. So every day it's basically going to look to see what changed and it's going to back up the changes. Um, you know, and you can always restore. And it's going to send you an email as well when something changes on your site because it's often a sign of a hack um, that some hacker has uploaded some scrupulous file. So CodeGuard is going to monitor it um, and back it up every day as well. And if anything goes wrong, you can go back to any date and restore the version as of that date. Another one is a Vault Press, which is really kind of backup, backup for WordPress. Um, as you see a backup and security for WordPress um, and that's what they do as well. They will do automated backups and an easy restore um, and they also do security scans. Um, now this is important. So the way hackers often work is they'll upload malware or malicious code to your server once they find that vulnerability um, and you wouldn't see it and that malicious code could be doing you know anything really. Um, so something like VaultPress is going to scan your site every day. Um, they know what the WordPress files should look like, and they'll find out if one of them has been sort of maliciously modified and alert you. So definitely well worth that. Um, another company who does that here is Securi, and they're also going to scan your website um, literally, you know, a couple of times a day. And their claim to fame, if you will, is that if if your site is hacked and you do get malware on it, they will actually clean it for you um, free of charge. And in other words, that's included in the price. Um, uh, you know, I'm not endorsing any one of these. I mean, look at VaultPress, look at CodeGuard, look at Security, look what options your hosting company gave you. But you absolutely want to get a backup strategy in place. It's not if you lose your data, it's when you lose your data. So make sure you, you take a look at a backup strategy. There are also free backup options by using a, a backup plugin. So if you go here to your plugins, um, see plugins, and like I showed you before, add new plugin, and let's go to search, and let's just type uh, backup. Uh, yeah, you can see, uh, you know, uh, this one offers to make backups to your Google Drive. Uh, here's an online backup simple backup, um, all different types of backups. So certainly you can explore it, look at the reviews. Um, you know, this one backs up your WordPress to Dropbox, etc. So you can certainly look at all of these different options as well, many of them being completely free. Um, but you may still want to look at something as well as like a Securi or a VaultPress for the fact that they do those daily security scans as well. Um, again, don't mean to alarm you, you know, go, go forth, build your site, enjoy it, just make sure you have a backup. And once you start getting some, you know, uh, traffic out there, then you might start looking at getting some malware scans on it as well, just to save you the headaches later. Um, but, uh, you know, I've been hacked many times. It just happens. But uh, the good news is with the right backup strategy in place and the right security scanning in place, it's nothing more than a minor inconvenience and a couple of clicks you can be back up and running. So. Take a look at those options, not your highest priority, but please don't ignore it.